I'm Major General Red Brown. Please join me for the Country for Our Country Concert Weekend. Enjoy live entertainment and support this worthy cause. So this week in the flavor section, it's all about Spain. And I've taken some of my favorite Spanish ingredients and we're going to make some empanadas. So I have the Serrano ham here, it's sliced really thin. It's a little nutty and sweet and it just melts in your mouth. These are the medjool dates and they do have a big seed in them. So you'll just want to cut that open and pull it out before you chop them up and manchego cheese, which is Spain's answer for Parmigiano Reggiano. So I've got my refrigerator pie dough that I just rolled out and you're just gonna cut them out into little rounds. And then we're gonna get our ham and our cheese and our dates all mixed together. And then you're just going to take kind of a heaping tablespoon, mold it up and set this on one side of the round and then you just fold it over and seal it with just a little brushing of water. And then after you fold it over, we're going to put some egg wash on top so that it'll brown nicely. So I'm going to get these built and then we're going to get them in the oven. So I've got my empanadas built. I'm just going to show you how I do this last one. I've just brushed a little water down here at the bottom. And you just fold it over and press it closed. And then you take your fork and this will help seal it a little bit plus give you a decorative edge. Press that around. And then this is just a little egg and water. And this just gets it nice and brown over the top. So these are going to go in the oven at about 400 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. And I've got some here that are already done. So I'm just going to get a few of these on our plate. And to dress these up a little bit, I've got some chopped thyme. This is a really nice herb that goes well with these ingredients and another little sprinkle of our manchego cheese. And then I have a balsamic glaze. This is just some dates that I cooked down with balsamic vinegar and water. And then we're just going to drizzle that over. And then you can also serve this on the side as a little dipping sauce. So you can find this recipe in Wednesday's Tyler Flavor section or on CBS19.tv.